Hello all, my name is Krishnayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, today in this particular video, we are actually going to discuss about GitHub profiles. We are going to see what is a good GitHub profile. Now, remember one thing for a fresher, for an experienced person who wants to make a transition towards data science, you know, you need to show some kind of work that you have actually done in data science. Some people are lucky enough that they get some kind of work with respect to in, in their company itself regarding some data science project. And some people who are not able to get it, you know, you should try to implement some end to end projects by your own. But still, the major thing is that you need to create a wonderful GitHub profile. So two things that is required to showcase your skills to the recruiter. One is your resume and the second is your GitHub profile. So we'll try to discuss about the structure of the GitHub profile. I've actually taken three GitHub profiles of different different users over here. I'll be giving you this particular link. So you can actually check it out. So this uh, I probably think we have discussed about this particular uh, project that is Indian paper currency prediction by one of my subscribers in my previous video. The major thing that we need to discuss see this isn't just an independent project. Okay. Now you may have multiple group of projects with respect to data science in your GitHub profile or you may also take you may also go in such a way that you create every single project, you explain them properly, right? Those two kinds you can actually have. So I've selected three GitHub profiles. One is of Sajal2692 uh, and one more is basically from Donny Martin where he has actually created a lot of IPython notebooks. So all these things we are going to discuss and we're trying to understand that how they have actually maintained your GitHub profile. And you can see there is with respect to this particular GitHub profile, there are a lot of, lot of folks that has been done by people, you know, a lot of issues has been raised because many people are liking them, you know, they are exploring those GitHub profile itself. And this is also one of the way where you can actually contribute to the open source community because we have GitHub profiles from TensorFlow. Like if I go and search for TensorFlow GitHub, right, we, if you go and search for TensorFlow GitHub, you will be able to see uh, again with respect to the TensorFlow, how the GitHub page is, you can also actually you know, uh, solve, go and solve issues on them. So let's go ahead and try to discuss first. So we are going to take the first uh, GitHub profile of Rohit Swami. And this is with respect to Indian paper currency prediction. Why I like this particular GitHub profile? Because it is amazing. If I am a recruiter, you know, if I am, I'm basically a recruiter or a tech lead who wants to recruit someone, you know, so basically all the interviews are taken by lead data scientist or a senior data scientist or so. So if I go and see this GitHub profile, I definitely will be able to understand that person's project, what he has actually done. So let's go and try to see what are the important things and how the structure of a GitHub profile should look like. So this is actually your complete code. Then you go with the, in the in, and main thing guys, all this particular description is basically written in the readme file. So you should know how to edit this readme file much more properly. So if I just go and open this particular readme file, you can see that how it, he has completely written all these things. And this same thing is basically displayed over here, right? So the first thing we'll be discussing about the table of contents. Table of contents basically means that how you're going to structure this whole project and what are things you are actually trying to explain in this particular project. So first he has started with demo, overview, motivation, technical aspect, and then you can also see installation, run, deployment on Heroku, directory tree uh, and to do's to do's over here bugs or feature requests suppose if there is a new bug that you are able to see is told that you can raise by clicking at that specific link then there is about team license and credits credits is also pretty much important guys you should also include many things in the credits which i'm actually going to discuss okay so let's go with the demo so this is the basically the url so if i am a recruiter I want to see what he has actually created. I'll just go and click on this particular demo URL, right? It is being hosted in Heroku app. Uh, so I will be able to see what he has actually created, right? The functionality is what he has actually included. Everything I'll be able to see. So this is pretty much amazing. Now, one idea I got that, yes, he has done some kind of work with respect to data science by using machine learning or deep learning technique. The second thing is basically about the overview. Now, overview basically explains more about the project. Okay. So here he's saying that he has created a simple image uh, classification plus cap trained on the top of Keras API. So I definitely will come to know, okay, he, he knows how to work in Keras and obviously he, he may have used in the back end, you know, he may have used uh, TensorFlow or Pianos. Okay. So those kind of libraries also I'll get to know that he knows right now. There is one thing over here. Still the overview can be written in a much more better way. I would like to add some more points in this, like what are the things he has actually done? How many images he has actually trained? 
you know what are the sources of the images that he has actually taken all those things he can actually mention over here apart from that he can also mention uh, or he can make a new point where he has made multiple model comparison and which was having the better accuracy so that also it can be covered and i probably think in the technical aspect that could have been covered also <clears throat> now coming to the motivation now what is the motivation now this is pretty much important guys motivation basically says that why you have actually created that particular project okay and uh, apart from that i would also say, say that the motivation and goals goal should also be there like why you have actually created this particular project how it can be used for the benefit of a company or benefit of the people uh, since you are creating this as an open source project itself so all those information can be written over here then we go to the technical aspect over here also it is here is clearly written and in this i think you should still add some more points when you are con considering technical aspects you should also try to explain the different kind of models that you have actually used the accuracy that i have actually discussed apart from that he is also mentioned about s3 bucket he has mentioned about sentry he has mentioned about csrf token so 1122 liners i think he could have included to have look much more better but again i'm saying you this is just a feedback but this profile looks amazing altogether then installation you can see the installation steps has been written for step 1 for the linux and mac is us this is pretty much important because some of the people may have linux environment in us and all everybody has most of the people have mac os uh, in india specifically people have people work in windows so all this particular information will definitely help them to understand how do they to do the installation the setup is pretty much important guys setup of that particular project is pretty much important if a person wants to use that particular project since you have put up in the github profile as an open source you should be able to uh, use it and you should be able to basically see all this information easily now then you go into deployment heroku heroku see he is included the cloud part he's done a end to end project he's included everything with respect to that so deployment of heroku directory this is how the folder structure has been actually created um then you have bug or feature request this is what i was saying that if you have any bugs you can actually raise it from here then what are the technologies used he has used some wonderful uh, images and here you can actually see all those things and finally his photo and the license apart from that this credits is pretty, pretty much important you should try to mention all the research paper that you have done uh, your team members whoever actually helped you out the data set from where you have actually taken every information can be put up over here in the credit section so this was one example again the link of this particular github will be given in the description now the next thing we go to the next profile that is sajal 2692 <clears throat> now this is pretty much important you can see this uh, this was with respect to only a single project now probably you you may probably be working in various projects itself and you want to create a group of data science projects so here he has actually created group group of data science projects like ml micro projects boston customer segmentation finding donors and all these kind of projects has been created multiple number of projects and he has explained about this over here the r repository portfolio is located here okay he's given that information in machine learning what all things he has done it has been mentioned the tools that he has actually used in natural language processing what all things he has done in data analysis and visualization what all he has done in r what all he has done the, this is basically all the micro projects that he has actually mentioned so this looks very good for a student probably uh, i think he may be a student i'm not sure about that but again this example is basically for a student how he, he has actually done but if we go inside each and every project i think more information about that project should be mentioned over there okay so this is one example the next example that i would like to specify is about this particular uh, author donne martin i guess uh you can see donay martin he is a software engineer at facebook uh so in washington dc so he has basically created a lot of materials with respect to data science is included aws deep learning images kaggle map reduce matplotlib uh skykit learn skypy spark and he has actually explained each and everything in the readme file here you can see with all the links right he has explained everything what all tutorials he has actually referred everything he has actually given you over here with respect to the setup you can see over here deep learning skykit learn everything has been mentioned and provided in a wonderful description man so again i have actually selected this because this is again written in a wonderful manner okay so all this particular information has been mentioned over here and you should also have a look onto this uh, i will be again giving the link of this particular github profile but now comes the main part now github is ready okay one weapon is ready now the second weapon is about your resume 
in your resume when you are basically explaining about your projects make sure that you explain completely the whole life cycle of a project itself and apart from that what you should focus on also is basically the goal the goal behind creating your project is pretty much important suppose if you are already working in a data science project you should be saying that what is the goal you try to increase or decrease the you try to decrease the expenditure of a company uh, you increase the revenue by this many percent this all kind of information needs to definitely be written the final goal of the project needs to be written because that is what the roi is right because understand for for creating any uh, ai project with respect to machine learning or deep learning right it is basically important that what is the roi from it so that is pretty much important to be mentioned so yes this was all about this particular videos guys all the link of this particular github profile will be given in the description please go have a look and this will be pretty much amazing try to follow all the steps what i have actually told you so this was all about this particular video guys i'll see you all in the next video have a great day thank you one and all bye bye